Hi Jazzy Greens, welcome back to another video. As you see from the title, we're doing a tag. This is more of a fun tag. Today happens to be my and my husband's 21st wedding anniversary. So it's a little bit of fun. And later on, we're gonna go see that movie Till. Have you guys seen the movie yet? If you have, let me know down in the comments. Tell me what did you think about it if you did? Because I'm curious, but it does look like a very good movie. So we can't wait to see it. And for those of you who do not know him, his name is Sam. So welcome, Sam, to the family. Thank you. And hello, family. So we're going to do this tag. And it's very quick. There's only 10 questions. So let's go ahead and just jump right on in. Okay, I'm gonna read the question and then I will answer first and then Sam will give his answer after me. Number one, your favorite color as a kid and now as an adult, there's two parts. Okay, my favorite color as a kid was pretty much pink. Anything bright and pretty, purple, you know, things like that. Uh, now it still remains the same. I like pink, I like red, I like gold, and love me some bling, baby. Yes, indeed, gotta have some bling. Okay, now your turn. Mine is blue, navy blue. I'm a blue boy, born blue. <laughs> All the way up to where I'm at right now, blue. See, I'm getting a blue shirt on. Me blue. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. a nice color too. Thank you. And I tried to match us together. I mean, he put that on. This is more of a green color, but still the dark little colors of it kind of blends in with his. So that's what we wanted to do. Okay, next question. Number two. Where do you want to visit in the world? Woo! Where do I want to visit? Not that many places. Uh, I like places to visit that are romantic, like Cancun, Mexico. I heard some very nice things about uh, Mexico. It's very romantic. Um, anywhere in the Caribbean islands, like Jamaica, I wanna go to Jamaica, maybe Aruba. Um, and it seemed like there's one more place and I don't have it written down that I would like to go. Um, Maybe Florida, just to visit, not to live there. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it yeah, for me. Now you. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was waiting on a few. I had to you make see, sure I finished answering. She had answering. to be looking after her ass and she would look at the paper and I must sit up here like a stiff. Like ain't waiting for the cue. You know, like I thought that cue. I I thought that I forgot to cue answer me, the other part. On, but cue. yeah, your yeah. turn now. Okay, baby. Thank you, baby. <laughs> so where do you want right. to go visit mm -hmm. in the world? <clears throat> Excuse me. Where do I want to go visit in the world? Um, one is like you just mentioned, Cancun. I think that's what we both mm -hmm. had said. Um, Jamaica, the Bahamas, you know, same places. Um and uh, yeah, go there and get freaky with it. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, then uh, go to Aru uh, Aruba. Yeah, Aruba. Mm -hmm. Aruba. Uh, 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 bum, uh, Barbados. Ba Barbados. Yeah. Barbados. Yeah, yeah I hear why that's Barbados? A nice place too. For me, I heard it was nice too, but why don't I want to go there? Just to check it out. See if these folks that had told me about that and being so nice. Um, I want to check it out, you know, for ourselves and see what we say on it. Mm -hmm. Because it'd be our judge on this. Right. Yeah. Also, so, Costa Rica. I just oh, thought yeah, Costa Rica, I'd like to go yeah. there. Yeah, Costa Rica. Um, Sounds like it's a pretty cool place. Mm -hmm. We'll check that out. And see I don't know. It just seems there. romantic. I don't know. I guess I'm all into romance, ladies. I don't know. I'm not into places and. No offense to anybody who wants to visit or lives there. You know, I'm not, yarn. I'm sorry. I'm not into places like Jerusalem or Israel, Rome, nothing wrong with those places, but that's just not, I don't have any interest of going there. So it's to each his own, really. I just like the romantic, you know, with a lot of uh, water and 
just whatever activities they have there, so romance. Okay, number three, what is your favorite restaurant or favorite food? Well, I have said this many times, claim jumper, but however, um, they have good food, but sometimes they're not all that good to me. It depends on what you order. You know, they're, they're kind of changing up a little bit. And they have a lot of uh, different foods there. And one thing about that restaurant that I have liked in the past is that they give you a nice amount. You don't get real skimpy little, you know, little scoop here. That you, you get a nice amount for your money because they are pricey. So um, I like them, but I'm not sure if they are my favorite anymore. Um, I do like um, uh, Acapulco because I love Mexican food. So that's the other part. I love me some Mexican food. Love the enchiladas, the tacos, um, all of the authentic Mexican food. It's just, you know, it's very rich. And I like the fried rice with the beans and the salsa. Ooh, man, just delicious. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what yeah. about you? Me, I like um, it's my favorite restaurant. Well, I do like Latin foods, you know, Mexican food. Um, I like soul food, I like American food. What's your favorite? But the favorite um, out of those three I just mentioned? That's the question. What's your favorite restaurant or well, I favorite to food? <laughs> But I started with the food first. Oh, okay. And then I was going to get to the restaurant. Okay. I didn't know I had to go over. No, you can do either one first. Back when we were in grammar school, teachers were like, okay, students, you got to do this and that in alphabetical order. She makes this bad boy up now. All um, right, all right. <laughs> okay, just kidding. The, okay, the restaurant, um, I like, uh, let me see, uh, the, What's my favorite restaurant? Shoot, I don't think food. you have one. Uh, wait a minute now. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute now. There's one out there hollering for me somewhere, and I don't know what they're saying. Well, when you find it, uh, let me know. <laughs> okay, uh, I definitely do that. But the rest, the favorite restaurant, to be honest with you, is um, um. Uh, I won't say any because anyway, nah, it ain't the ticket. Any is not the one. Um, uh, no, Jeopardy time. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you know, I couldn't bet I'd be on that show. Uh, <laughs> no, you could. Time, or Family Feud. <laughs> that too, for the time of Family Feud and Jeopardy, and, and and then my answers. Shoot, can't think of what, was, what my favorite restaurant is. You never told um, me that you have a favorite I, restaurant. Yeah, really? No, no, I sure didn't. Um, I gotta say, folks, my favorite one is. Um, oh boy, let me go with. Um, shoot, anybody, <laughs> anybody who has a restaurant is my favorite. Okay, what's your favorite yeah. food? I just said. It. Remember, I started off with well, that you, first. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Why well, didn't hear? I didn't. You didn't hear. They heard it. Heard it. Oh, you you sure. said you like Mexican food, and you said some other ones. But yeah. what would be the number one? What oh, is No, <laughs> you said Mexican. You think you said you like something else too? Soul yeah. food. I think. Yeah, I heard but you, you know, soul. but see, that's the question they ain't saying. You know, pick one and one only. Well, they just why I'm taking it as the question was saying. What is your favorite? You know, Mexican food or what's your favorite no, food? Yeah, your or favorite whatever. food. Yeah, so Not I'm, favorite I'm, more, I'm, I'm, I'm going more. Oh, you know, okay. Mexican, All right. American soul. Asian, you know, Chinese. Okay. You know. All right. So all of those are your Italian. favorite. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So you yeah. got a multiple answer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I got a multiple belly. So. <laughs> all right. Number four. Are you married or single? Well, you guys know the answer to that. We are married for 21 years. So, so happy. Yay. Now, when you guys see this video, it will be after the third, of course, because we're filming it today on the 3rd and I couldn't get it up to you any sooner. So we are married. Number five, do you have children? And if so, how many? So you can answer that. Two. We have a girl 
and a boy, and they're both grown, so. Angela and Aaron. She loved those A's. I know, I like A names. Yeah. So nice, just love it. I don't know, because A is my favorite letter of the alphabet. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. All right, that was easy. Number six, why did you, now this is for me to answer only, why did you create your YouTube channel? I created it, number one, because you guys know I love home decor, I love decorating. That is the first reason why I um, have a YouTube channel. The second and most important reason I feel is because our son Aaron, he was the one that introduced YouTube to me. He says, mom, you need to get on YouTube, you know, put your channel, you know, do your decorating and share your ideas and your skills and whatnot. And when he mentioned that to me, I thought to myself, I thought he was crazy. Not literally, you know, I was like, YouTube? I couldn't see myself on somebody's platform like that. It didn't even seem real. I said, YouTube? I just thought that was um, so far-fetched. You know, but hey, I'm here and I've been on here for what, I think four years now, going on five. So thanks to Aaron, I'm so happy that I am on YouTube bringing you guys content. And by the way, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and please click that subscribe button right now before the end of the video and give this video a big thumbs up. Come on, you guys, and comment down below. I love to read your comments and to converse with you. So please, come on, don't be shy. Let me know. I, I like to hear that, I like to engage. I don't get enough of that on my channel for the most part. So I'm just trying to encourage you guys, don't forget to thumbs up the video if you like it and subscribe and do all the good stuff. Thank you so much. She wanna go 30,000 and more. Yes, Ooh, she way yeah. on up, I can. I'm trying. Yeah. All right, so that's the answer to that. That's why I created my channel. Moving right along, number seven, we are almost done. Tell us about the most inspirational thing you have experienced, uh, i.e., that means example, Bible, Bible verse, artwork, a book, nature, or person. That's what the question says. Uh, well, I pretty much told you guys um, I won't say the most, but one of them. Um, I can't think of another inspirational thing that I have experienced, inspirational, um, because I didn't think to write it down, but I'm just gonna leave it at that. When Aaron encouraging me to get me a YouTube channel, that was the most inspirational and so sweet of him to even just suggest it, you know, and here I am. So I'm just going to leave that answer like that. Now for you, sir. My inspirational? Yeah, the most inspirational thing you have experienced in your life. Being married to her and having children. Mm, that's so sweet. Aww. Very, very, that's very so ins sweet. inspirational <laughs> thing uh, to and, me. And work. <laughs> yeah, oh, goodness, yes. <laughs> And work, and yes, indeed. <laughs> you guys, you cannot be married 21 years and just think that you're not going to go through anything. Of course you are. Every marriage goes through something, you know? So, all right, that's a good answer. Number eight, what is your favorite inspirational song right now? Well, I'm going to go with the gospel because... When I think of inspirational, I think about encouragement, ministering to me, um, making me feel, giving me hope. So that's why I go with the gospel songs. And that's um, one of uh, Vicky Yohe, that's Y-O-H-E. <laughs> so how did she say Yogi? Yeah, I'm not saying. A Yogi man? Yeah, no, no, no. Vicky Yohe. And she has a, uh, her music is on YouTube as well. So if you want to look her up, she's got some very inspirational songs. I love the way she sings. She sings so beautiful. So the song that she sings, well, a few of them that I like, um, Because of Who You Are. 
I like how, I think she sings How Great Thou Art. Well, I know one is um, okay. How Faithful. Faithful, he is so faithful. God is so faithful. That's one. Now I'm gonna try to think of another song that's not necessarily by her, although she might have sung it. Um, Great is thy faithfulness. Oh, I love that one. Ooh, boy, it makes me want to sing it now. Mm, mm, mm. Great is thy faithfulness. Um, yeah, all, all rise now. She's about to sing. <laughs> no, but um, really, that song, and there's another one. Well, Hallelujah. I love Hallelujah. And um, there's another one, but I didn't write it down. So that's all for right now. And you, your turn. Oh, mine is r and I like, you know, spiritual songs too. Mm -hmm. uh, well, let me just say maybe two of the spiritual so we won't be dragging too long with me here. Um, <laughs> one was, you know, spiritual was like Vicky Yohi. Yohi. Not Yohi, but Yohi. Uh, you know, like, you know, because of who you are. Mm -hmm. Boy, I can just feel that song going powerful through my bones. Woo! Mm -hmm. And then, um, um, My God is Awesome. I forgot who the artist is on that one. There's a lot of people who um, sing it. Yeah, mm -hmm. so a lot of folks sing that one. So we say, um, you know, Our God, My God is Awesome, or Our God is Awesome by mm -hmm. the different, you know, the different uh, artists. artists, yeah. Uh, also, of uh, R&B is Lakeside, okay? Mm -hmm. And one of the songs is something about that woman. Something about that woman. You know, it took me a while to figure out what it was. <laughs> but when I first met her, it just hit me right there. Ooh. And there's those beautiful eyes and oh, just her, boy. her presence and her, uh, her looks. And uh, also, one last thing of it is when she first met me, First had in her eyes set on me. You gotta speak louder. Oh, yeah. well she first met me and first time she, you know, set her, you know, set her eyes on me. Uh she came to me and it blew me away. Uh how it was, because it, it's just like I never heard anything like that before. When she said, you know I like you, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Tell it my secret. <laughs> I did say that. You she know I like that, you, don't you? She, she she did, and I said, like, how could I know you like me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you never showed me uh, you never did love it oh for me God. to say, yeah, I knew you liked me. I knew you liked well, me. Well, I was. Well, it's just that you were you know, picking it up. <laughs> I just, well, I wasn't doing a good job of it. I just didn't yeah. do it. But that's I, and it. I, and I shouldn't have said that yeah. anyway because the man is supposed to be the one that leads to say it first. Yeah, but I, I was just so, it was just different with you. I've never said that to any other guy before. Just you. Just something special about you. That's why was, I said boy. it. Ooh, boy. Ooh. It was just all of you. All of who you are. No, so anyway, no. even though that don't have nothing to do with that question, but we just threw that in as a bonus because, you know, we enjoy doing these tags, and especially me because I love doing tags. Yeah. I was going to originally do this by myself, but I asked him if he would do it with me only because it's our anniversary and it's a fun activity. So, all right, next one. We got two more. Number nine, what has been your favorite road trip or vacation? Well, I'm going to say <laughs> Maui, Hawaii. We went there. That was, wait a minute. No, that wasn't our um, anniversary. Why did we go no. there? Oh, we just went there to be going there. Yeah. yeah so, yeah, yeah well, when we went to Maui, Hawaii, um, whenever that was, 2000 something, we had yeah. a lot of fun. Um, I think I was pregnant with Aaron then. You yes, were. I was pregnant yeah. with Aaron. So, that was a nice time. Um, going to Hawaii. I've always wanted to go to Hawaii. I always said that I would go. I didn't know when or with whom, but I went. And the, the next one, favorite road trip for me is when I was a child. My mother, we would always uh, take these trips. We would go to Canada, uh, Brandon, Manitoba, Canada to see uh, family. And we would go to the snow, which I love playing in the snow. Um, Lake Tahoe, and I have on this big furry 
old fashioned coat. Oh gosh, it was just, look, it looked a mess, but it kept me warm though. And um, just spending time, um, you know, with family, going on those trips, you know, as a child. And um, the bad thing about this trip that I'm thinking about that we went to is that one of the luggages fell off the top of her car. Guess whose luggage it was? Yep, it was mine. Mm, mm, mm. I was so upset when we arrived at my aunt and uncle's house because all of my favorite clothes that I had put in there was gone. And I, I didn't want any more clothes. You know, my aunt was so nice. She said, well, we just gotta take her shopping, come on. She told my mother, come on, let's go, let's go shopping. You know, cause we were gonna be at their house for two weeks. And I was like, but I don't want any new clothes. I want my same clothes. I was like, mommy, can't we just go back, go on the road and try to find my luggage? She was like, no, Liz, I don't think so. <laughs> but uh, other than that, it was, it was a nice road trip. Just not that part of it. Okay, what about for you? The road trip for me, uh, before I get to the other one, was uh, favorite one was when we went to, uh, and you were pregnant with Aaron again. When we went to Hearst Castle. Now she did not know, oh, she did not know yes. that she was pregnant at that time. Didn't, you know, because Hearst Castle, for those who oh, haven't been there, you know, it's it. amazing. Uh, maybe, you know, you have the you know, uh, urge to go one day. Uh, but it's a nice place, very nice. Uh, you were tired by the walk as well, you yeah. know. And but then, then you know, I guess you realized you were pregnant with Aaron. No, I didn't know I was pregnant. No, I didn't know. I did not know. Oh, okay. Well, that's probably why I was tired. Yeah, you know? yeah. She didn't know. I, I you know, I, I was tired too, but I wasn't pregnant. But anyway, <laughs> um, she was uh, very tired, and um, I was too. But, but I, uh, I liked it yeah. though, I enjoyed it. It was really nice, mm -hmm. really nice. And for those who did go, you guys know exactly what I'm, you know, what I'm talking about and where I'm from and where I'm coming from. Uh, the other one is like, uh, like my wife just mentioned, uh, Maui is the other one that was real nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Romantic. Very romantic, mm -hmm. very hot, very sweaty. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I wouldn't want to live there. Oh, goodness no. But anyway, <laughs> nah, yeah. No, I wouldn't it, either. It was mm -hmm. nice though, it was nice. Yeah. All right, and the last final question. Told you guys it would be very quick, but just fun. What is the biggest way you have changed since you were a child? We're gonna do that one first. After I say mine, then you say yours, then okay. I will go to the second part. Okay. What is the biggest way you have changed since you were a child? Well, I think I'm more verbal now. I'm still quiet and shy. I mean, that's always, I guess, going to be there. But I'm more vocal. I express myself um, better, you know, whereas as a child, you know, I just hold everything inside. Now I express it. Um, that's pretty much it. So, you? Me, um, man, from a child to now, right? Is that what the question is asking? What is the biggest way you have changed since you were a child? The biggest way that I have changed since I was a child, mm -hmm. uh, staying out of devilment, getting my butt in trouble. No, <laughs> nothing like that. Well. You know, that's just jokes, you know. <laughs> but uh, nah, uh, I, you know, I was a little booger, but I was a pretty good kid then at the time. And, you know, actually, I can't see nothing changing from a child to where I'm at now. It's pretty much the same. I, I am, I do get shy at times, um, and then I get vocal at times and, you know, like talk and then act goofy. Um, goofy. Goofy. Um, being, you know, like a funny guy, I would not want to be as a comedian, no. I'm more of an athlete. But you are a comedian. He's very yeah. funny. Thank you. You guys um, don't know. She is too. Ooh, who is she? Ooh, you just don't know, boy. Because she's a little shy of that, so she won't show it. But me, I'm more of an <laughs> athlete. I'm more of a, you know, 
I'm more of an athlete. Well, I was a little bit when I was a child, but then as growing up, I went all the way to where I'm at now, but I made a sudden stop, but I won't give the age of that. But anyway, right. and I like sports, so, mm -hmm. you know. Okay, that's a good answer. Now, the second part of it, and in what way are you still the same? In what way am I still the same? I'm still shy. Um, I'm still more of a quiet person. I really am. I am more of a reserved person. I'm, I'm still those things. Maybe not as much, but it's still there. And I don't know if it'll ever leave, but that's just part of who I am. I try to break myself out, but I can't bring myself out too much because then I'm out of my comfort zone and I don't want to get out of my comfort zone. If I'm comfortable, I want to stay there, but I try to branch out. But that's, that's the answer I can give. I'm pretty much the same like that. What's the question? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I was so gross. What you were saying, no answer. <laughs> we were talking about in what ways have we changed as a child. So the second part, and in what way are you still the same now as a child? In what way am I still the same as a child? Mm -hmm. in, in what kind of way? Uh, well, I don't know if this is the answer to it, but I always, I still got a kid, kitty heart. No. Um, you know, I still have that kid's heart in me. Mm -hmm. um, and as a child, when I was growing up, playing with my friends and stuff, whenever they got hurt, I was so, so deeply concerned about them and how the heart for them. And that's where I stand now, too, as an adult. Um, a caring person. Caring person, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And so. That's a good answer. Well, did my answer fit to that question? <laughs> yes. No. In what way are you still the same? You were like that as a child, right? Yeah. And you're still like that now. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. He's very caring, compassionate, very helpful. My mother would vouch for that. You know, you and are. Very she much seen so. in folks' way, too. <laughs> yeah, I get in the way a lot. She always had to push me. Foo, 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 babe. <laughs> babe, babe, I got it, babe. Yeah. yeah, sometimes I got it, sometimes I don't yeah. accept the help. Yeah. But anyway, that completes the tag, all 10 questions. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this tag. If you did, please, if you have not yet joined the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up like I said earlier and leave me comments down below. Come on, let's get this video going. Let's get the channel going up, 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 up. I'm trying to increase the numbers, guys. So you know how that is. If you're a YouTuber, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys take care, you be blessed. And I will see you next time in my next video. Anything you want to say? You want to say bye? Yes, I do. Because before the ending of this tag, you read, um, <laughs> I just wanted to say, you know, we thank you folks for, you know, tuning in on us and, you know, for the tag and that our anniversary is very, very, uh, very sweet and kind and touches, you know, our heart. And, um, just like happy anniversary, baby. Yes, happy mm. anniversary. Mm. Mm. All right, guys. Bye. Bye. Peace, bless. <laughs>